Mwah. Hello everyone, I'm Shaman Durek and welcome to Woke Wednesday. The elders and I have chosen the stones for you and the animal is the raccoon. Go ahead and check out the stones, choose your stone and find out what your spirit message is for you today. If you chose stone number one, let's talk about authenticity, right? Because a lot of people in the world, they like to wear masks. They put on masks that they think that protects them so they don't get hurt and no one can hurt them and all this type of stuff. But you know what? What really shows people how to connect to you is through vulnerability, but realizing you don't need to wear a mask because you can be authentic and be real. It doesn't mean you have to give everyone your whole life story when you meet them right off the bat or give them some sob story about your life, but it means to be your realest self. The self that is loving and generous and kind and open and, and just free and, and welcoming to the world. Now, it doesn't mean that you don't be aware of the type of people that you're bringing into your life because you don't want to bring people into your life who are just there to, you know, really just take up space and, and not hold you in the highest light because they're constantly doing things that are not supporting you and supporting your environment. But again, it doesn't matter what they do. It matters what you do. And it matters how you choose to live in that power and in that strength of that authenticity. So don't be the person who's walking around with a mask and being on the grand Greek stage, playing out every character that you think people like until you finally realize that the only one that you haven't really seen is you. Be you and be you now and be the best you you can be. And remember how amazing it is when you show up as yourself. If you chose stone number two, this is about you coming into an understanding of a deeper order with yourself. Now this order is about reclaiming your self-respect. This is about you stop seeking validation from other people. It's about you knowing who you are and making sure you're collecting your resources as according to what works for your life, not what works for someone else's life. Everyone has something to say about what they think is right for you and what's best for you. But again, knowing what's right for you in the core of your being from the base of your resource is how you stay in that authentic place with yourself. Being able to climb to higher heights is a wonderful thing, but climbing and leaving your inner child and all the other spirits that represent you behind is not the best thing. It's about collectively gathering yourself, your resource, knowing exactly what you need, when you need it, and why, and then directing yourself for the star that is always waiting there for you. So doing this will put you in the seat of authenticity and give you a real sexy vibe, right? That we all so want to be, right? Get your sex on because that sexy vibe is that amplifying of that beautiful energy, that vibrant core energy that people feel when you are loving on yourself. So love on yourself and forget what everyone else says and focus on not leaving any part of yourself behind. The good, the bad, the ugly, it's all a part of the place of love. To accept it, to love it, to embrace it, and take it with you on your journey. If you chose stone number three, this is about you coming into a place of great recognition of yourself. And when I say recognition, that means uh, stop comparing yourself to other people. Really look about the specialness and the amazingness that you represent. That beautiful flutter of energy that holds the greatest value in your life so that you can live and expand to the greater heights that you were born to be. As you, there's no one like you on the planet, so why would you try to be like someone else, huh? No, I don't think so. So it's important to just really let yourself shine and be in your brightest energy and remembering that you are a gift to this world and that people who get to spend time with you, it's a gift for them to be able to spend time with such a beautiful and amazing person. So really honoring that authenticity with yourself and really loving that authenticity that you're showing up in the world is going to open up doorways for you in ways you never imagined. And it's also going to teach you an ethics about yourself, which is you don't need to be something that you're not to make other people happy because their gift that they get is having you in their life. I'm so excited that you loved Woke Wednesday and I'm so happy for you to come back again for more beautiful messages from the spirits. I love you so much and I know how powerful you are. So stop pretending and be exactly what you are, powerful. And I'll see you for the next Woke Wednesday. Bye.